From getting caught lying about her mental illness and drug use to the super messy feud with her ex-lover's life, here's the real reason why everyone hates Selena Gomez. The former Disney star is one of the most famous people in the world, but she's always had to deal with haters, and apparently, for some pretty good reasons. You'll be surprised at what I'm about to tell you, since it seems like Gomez isn't as nice as you'd think. Turns out, she might be lying about the causes of her mental and physical illnesses. Insider reports have confirmed that the singer has been to a rehab center more than once over the years. Seems like it really isn't easy being a Disney star, as she and her representatives have said in public, that her problems are caused by her lupus and mental health problems. But that's not the whole truth. There have been rumors about the Hotel Transylvania actress and how she's been using drugs for the longest time and even has a bit of a drinking problem. A source close to the pop star confirmed as much and told the world that her health problems were caused by her lifestyle. Apparently, Selena's been trying to blame her recent problems on her lupus, but a close friend said that it's obviously unfortunate that she has lupus, but the star also doesn't always make the smartest decisions. Gomez's drug use started spiraling after the tragic death of her friend Christina Grimmie in 2019, and that's when the singer started taking Lunesta Ambien, Clonopin, and Xanax. Her family and friends have tried many times to get her treated, but she seems to keep going back to her old habits. Maybe that would explain all the weird feuds that she's been a part of, like when she was accused of stealing Orlando Bloom from Katy Perry. This happened in 2016, shortly after Katy and Orlando started dating. While we know that the actor has been pretty close with Gomez for a very long time, some photos were leaked online that made it seem like they were more than just friends. And Katy's budding relationship with the Pirates of the Caribbean actor ran into a problem early on. Pictures of the two taken in a club in 2016 quickly went viral on the internet. After she did a show in Las Vegas, the pop star went to a party and Bloom showed up to surprise his longtime friend. But they were a little too close for comfort, especially for Perry's fans who were rooting for the pair. Among a bunch of pictures, where Gomez was practically in his lap, the two were seen kissing too, but the grainy photos weren't very clear. Katie never addressed the incident, there weren't any public callouts or fights, but her fans will never forget when Gomez broke the girl code. That wasn't the last time the Who Says singer did that, though. People think she's very ungrateful for her new kidney, too. The rumored fight between Selena and Francia Raisa took fans by surprise because when the Monte Carlo actress's kidney failed in 2017 because of her disease, her friend Raisa stepped up and gave her one of her own. Raisa's father, Spanish radio host Renan Almendares El Cucoy Coelho, told the world that his daughter had been having some troubles of her own since the transplant. In a Spanish show Primo Impacto, Coelho said that Gomez's behavior after the transplant caused Raisa a lot of sadness, since rumors said that the pop star went back to drinking heavily after the transplant, and Raisa wasn't having it. Then came another little hint that the two, who'd been friends since 2007, weren't doing so well. During an interview with Rolling Stone in 2022, Selena said that her only real friend in the industry was Taylor Swift. Yikes, that's got a sting. That's not all, though. Selena even fought with Lord. Back in 2013, when Selena released her hit song, Come and Get It, Lord was quick to call the song anti-feminist, claiming that it sent a terrible to young female fans who looked up to the singer. I mean, she wasn't wrong, the song literally says, when you're ready, come and get it. And Gomez responded by saying that Lord doesn't speak for all women, and that she was just straight up wrong. Plus, she also let the world know that she wouldn't be covering royals in her live shows anymore either. Y'all know Lord doesn't step down, and she let everyone know that she wouldn't be backing down and that she stood by what she said, for the record. The New Zealander has also talked about what she thinks about other big stars, but it's never been this harsh. The 26-year-old singer takes a lot of pride in her strong morals and opinions and can't help but share them. Fans love how honest she always is, because we can count on her to tell us how it is. Believe it or not, this wasn't the only controversy surrounding the song. Gomez sang it at the MTV Video Music Awards in 2013, while wearing a bindi. For those of you who don't know, a bindi is a traditional South Asian face decoration that ties in with their religion. Indian classical music was used in the first part of the song, so the singer decided to wear the face accessory while performing. 
Her performance of Come and Get It was criticized by the Hindu community, and they asked her to never do that again. Rajan Zed, a well-known Hindu lawmaker, said that putting a bindi on your forehead is a holy Hindu practice that goes back hundreds of years, and how Selena should be sorry and learn about the basics of different religions. While some people on Twitter said that the singer's choice wasn't disrespectful, many were pissed at the cultural appropriation. So for those of you who are wondering about what's wrong with a big star from the West wearing a bindi, Gomez wore a religious symbol from another culture as a fashion item, even though she didn't really understand its significance. The former Disney star gave a pretty arrogant response, which made the community even angrier when she said that she was just paying her respects. Well, Cell, that's not how it came across. And then there's the biggest controversy of her entire career, her messy breakup with Justin Bieber and the massive feud with his wife. After being together since around 2011, the two finally broke up in 2018. They had their ups and downs for sure, actually. More downs than ups. What with all the rumors of Bieber cheating on Selena, but things weren't as black and white as they seemed. Some fans seemed to believe that Selena wasn't the victim she claimed to be, after a video surfaced of Gomez slapping Bieber in 2011 at the Atlanta Falcons game on September 18th, and it took the world by storm. Since then, believers have been begging the rest of the world to see through Gomez's lies about him and deal with the situation as it is. They believe that it was the fetish singer that was physically and mentally abusive, not the other way around. Once the two finally broke up, the baby singer got back together with Haley Baldwin, and it was now the Selenator's turn to stir up drama as they tried to make it seem like Bieber cheated on Cell with Baldwin. The model has always denied this, claiming that she wasn't involved with the boyfriend singer when he was with Gomez, but the internet trolls never took her word for it. It led to a series of really petty exchanges between the two women. Haley let the world know that Justin still talked to her ex, even though he was married, but she didn't mind, because her husband had always been honest with her. All of this didn't seem to get through to Selena's fans, though. They accused Mrs. Bieber of stealing Justin and went after her with the fire of a million tweets. They were probably fueled by Gomez's song, Lose You to Love Me, which she released a month after her ex got married. The most problematic lyrics from the song said, In two months, you replaced us like it was easy. Yikes. Apparently, the model responded by posting the song I'll Kill You by Summer Walker on her story, and fans came after her. Then there was some controversy surrounding a makeup tutorial video that Haley posted, which looked really similar to the one that Gomez made. But it doesn't end there, as the mean girls of Hollywood, Mrs. Bieber, Kylie, and Kendall Jenner, made fun of Selena's weight gain due to her disease. And then once more in February 2023, the model and her friends mocked Gomez's over-laminated eyebrows. Selena never publicly took any of them on, but her fans sure did. And believe me, they took it way too far, giving Haley death threats and seriously damaging her mental health. And there you have it, from the super messy feud with her ex-lover's life to getting caught lying about her mental illness and drug use. This was the real reason why everyone hates Selena Gomez.